Hi, I'm Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. You know, we all love our windows when they're letting in that natural daylighting, you know, so we can save on our utility bills, not having to use lights and what have you. But, you know, if you got full force summer sun coming through these windows, it can not only fade your furniture inside, but it can also raise your cooling cost. A window like this facing south can have 7 to 10 degrees on any sunny day, and that's going to cost you money. Some newer homes may already come equipped with uh, windows that have a heat mirror installed inside. Of course, if you have an older house like this, you know, alternative may be to replace those windows with such, but you know, that's a little pricey, and if you've got older ones like this and you kind of like the style of the house, well, here's an alternative. You can just simply take aluminum foil, staple it to the back piece of cardboard, and slip that between the storm window and the interior window. Or there's a product like this. It's a bubble pack, it's got aluminum foil on it, has an insulating value of itself, it's really easy to cut and it's also really easy to install between the storm window and your old window. But if that doesn't quite fit your aesthetic, you might consider reflective film and I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply. Now once you got your window good and clean, you're going to get it out of the frame, put it on a surface like this, something up in the air so you can see what you're doing. And the next thing we're going to do is choose the kind of film. You'll find in the store there's a little sheet there so you can kind of determine what, you know, what grade, gradation you might want. But I want to make a little a comment here that if you have a double pane insulated glass window, you're only going to be able to use the gray tones, not the reflective film, because that might break the seal between those two panes of glass, you never do that. But if you've got an old window like this at the storm, you can choose whatever you wish. Now the choices you'll find will be highly reflective, I mean, they'll reflect a lot of the sun, but you're going to see through it a little, you know, like a sunglass effect. There are some that are lighter weight, like the platinum type here, or there are even some that are static cling, like this decorative one here, so that you can use it on the inside glass, and you can put it up for the summertime and then remove it during the wintertime if you wish. But we're going to put a more permanent reflective film on this storm window, because that'll do the best job. Now, in order to apply this correctly to the glass, you probably need to go ahead and get an application kit like this that you'll find nearby the, uh, where this stuff is sold. There's a squeegee involved, a corner piece, various parts that you're going to need to put this on professionally. When you open up your box of film, you'll find a complete set of instructions inside here. So if you get a little lost, that'll pretty well tell you how to do it. When it first comes out of the box, we're going to have a square corner and a square edge. So it's nice to start that up in the corner of your window. Then when we cut the other edge, you're going to leave yourself a little bit of an overlap. So we've got a little extra so we can cut it more exactly when we're through with the whole process. We have a clear sheet and, a, and the inside of the film is actually going to have some adhesive on it. So we need to separate those two before we put it on the glass. And the way you do it is use some scotch tape and we're going to tape it to the back side and the front side. Now this is where you need some help because you don't want to, want to get this film taken off very gradually. And it sort of helps to have a, uh, another set of hands here. Now we need to use the solution to adhere to the back side of the film where the sticky part is and to the glass itself. Because we're going to apply this wet to wet. Then, in order to get all these bubbles out, we need to go ahead and put some fluid on the surface there. We want to squeegee it out from the middle, work out the air bubbles, and then you want to maybe take care of some of the excess fluid Okay, <clears throat> once you've squeegeed all the air bubbles out, gotten the extra fluid taken off the side, you know, this is what it's going to look like once it's installed. And you can see that it's somewhat clear, so you can still see through it, but yet this surface here will reflect the sun. Now, once you've done a few windows around the home, you may want to try a larger project like a storm door like this. Now, if this looks a little scary to you, you also can hire a professional to do it for you. I put this film on my storm windows at home as well as my interior windows. It does a great job in keeping that old sun from aggravating my cooling cost. And that's what our goal in Conservation Tips is, is to help our community to conserve and you to save money on your utility bills. 
This is Dave Mars with Conservation Tips, and I'll see you next time.